Good evening, dear listeners, and welcome to another spine-chilling episode of Our Scary Stories. I am your guide, your beacon in the midst of the abyss, and I'm here to lead you into the hidden corners of fear and wonder. As the sun dips below the horizon and night extends its eerie arms, we find ourselves teetering on the edge of the known and the unknown. From the safety of your sanctuary, prepare to delve into the shrouded realms of the macabre, where shadows dance, and the line between reality and the unthinkable blurs. Brace yourself, as tonight, we navigate the twilight maze of Ebbing Hollow and whisper the untold tales that echo amidst its tombstones. So, huddle closer, for the dusk has secrets to reveal, and we are about to begin. As the sun nestled low in the burnished sky, casting long, ghostly shadows over the town of Ebbing Hollow, Daniel stood at the threshold of his peculiar playground, a weathered, hallowed cemetery resting solemnly on the town's outskirts. The looming, lichen-covered tombstones in the ornate mausoleum spoke silently of times and tales long past. Daniel, just twelve but bearing the intense curiosity of one much older, was drawn to the mysteries whispered by the decaying sepultures, their mossy facades, and the ethereal serenity of the twilight hour. He possessed a striking blend of courage and curiosity, with eyes as warm as melted chocolate, a shock of walnut brown hair, and a smile that could bring sunshine to the gloomiest of days. The tranquility of the graveyard was an odd comfort to him, the headstones his silent companions, the crypts his curious jungle gym. Every evening, as the setting sun embraced the horizon, Ebbing Hollow was wrapped in hues of deep purples and blues, the crepuscular light accentuating the town's spectral charm. The wind whispered through the narrow lanes, rustling the ancient trees that cast writhing shadows upon the worn cobbles, carrying with it the scent of lilacs from the adjoining meadow, and the distant echoes of the sea. Daniel's heart pounded in rhythm with the pealing bells from the town's old church as he signaled the beginning of the twilight game. His friends, lithe and nimble Rosa, freckled and cautious Tommy, and shy, bright-eyed Lily, appeared from their respective homes, each carrying a familiar blend of fear and excitement in their eyes. The sacred ceremony of their hide-and-seek game had begun. Remember the rules, okay. No crying, no telling, and above all, no running off until the game ends, Daniel reminded them, his voice dropping to a half-whisper that seemed to blend into the eerie tranquility of the setting. Among the rustling leaves, a subtle shift began. The elongated shadows of the four children flickered and twisted as if imbued with life, becoming more pronounced, sharper at the edges. It was as though the very darkness was inching closer, eager to partake in their game. The air was thick with suspense, and the children's laughter echoed through the cemetery, a melody of innocence that contrasted with the somber tones of their surroundings. They were oblivious to the uncanny changes, too engrossed in their sacred game and the veil of adventurous bravado they wore. As Rosa, Tommy, and Lily scattered, Daniel closed his eyes to count. His ears buzzed with the evening sounds, distant bird songs, the rustle of leaves underfoot, the soft echo of the church bells. But underneath, a new, silent hum vibrated, something akin to quiet whispers dancing in the wind, like secrets yearning to be heard. Underneath the canvas of the darkening sky and the ever-watchful gaze of tombstones, the children's hide-and-seek game took a sinister turn. Oblivious to the ominous transformation their shadows had begun to undergo, they delved deeper into their play, the silent spectators of their twilight stage harboring the unsettling truth. As the first chapter of their eerie saga closed, the cemetery seemed to breathe in the unsettling silence, an ancient sentinel ready to reveal its dark secret. As the last remnants of sunlight seeped out of Ebbing Hollow, the hush of twilight thickened. A haunting luminescence of the moon washed over the cemetery, its faint silvery glow bathing the tombstones in an eerie aura. The wind bore a chill now, and the leaves shivered against the gravestones, their hushed rustle sounding like whispers shared between old confidants. Daniel, nestled behind the cold marble statue of an angel, looked out at the shifting shadows. He reveled in the peculiar stillness that descended with the darkness, his heart thundering in the otherwise tranquil silence. Rosa was an expert at this morbid game. Agile and sneaky, she always knew the best places to hide. Behind the sprawling oak tree near the edge of the cemetery, she huddled her eyes gleaming with the thrill of the chase. A distinct chill clung to the air around her, and the ground beneath her was slightly damp, carrying the mossy scent of the earth and the faintest hint of the sea. She could hear the wind sowing gently through the trees, each gust twisting the tree's long shadow into ghastly shapes. Cautious Tommy, a child of few words but many worries, tucked himself behind the ancient crypt overgrown with ivy. 
The crypt carried a damp, stone-cold smell that somehow comforted Tommy. The crumbling stone under his fingertips was rough, but its coolness was a strange reassurance. The faint moonlight barely illuminated the crypt's shadow, but Tommy could see it, elongating, bending, shifting. Lily, the youngest of them all, took refuge near the rusted iron gate of the cemetery. As her small, trembling hands clasped the cold metal bars, she heard the distant hoot of an owl. There was something entrancing about the way the ivy-clad gate's shadow sprawled on the ground. The faint metallic taste in the air made her lips purse, but she huddled closer to the gate, watching her elongated shadow nervously. The game proceeded, and the air pulsed with the essence of their childhood innocence and thrill. Yet, the growing discord between their merry game and the morphing shadows went unnoticed. It was a peculiar dance of light and darkness, each child's shadow writhing and twisting like a sentient being. They danced to a rhythm unheard, their movements strangely out of sync, creating an unsettling spectacle on the hallowed grounds. Yet, caught in the fervor of their game, the children were oblivious to the sinister ballet of their shadows. The seemingly mundane hide-and-seek game was slowly getting enmeshed with something ancient and otherworldly, a pact being unknowingly signed under the watchful eyes of the moon and the silent tombstones. As Daniel, Rosa, Tommy, and Lily navigated their twilight playground, the boundary between their harmless game and the cemetery's mystical aura started to blur. Oblivious to the strange metamorphosis of their shadows, they delved deeper into their cherished tradition. The cemetery, bearing the echoes of countless yesteryears, held its breath as it prepared to unveil its enigmatic chronicles to these innocent souls. Morning rays of sunlight pierced through the windows of Daniel's room, drenching the space in a warm, golden hue. Yet, the vibrant daytime did little to erase the uncanny events of the previous night from his mind. A morning filled with the aroma of fresh pancakes and the familiar chatter of the town seemed oddly distant. Daniel, usually enthusiastic about his chores, found himself absently feeding the hens in his backyard, his mind consumed by the shadows. The echo of last night's game tugged at the fringes of his thoughts. His shadow, once an obedient follower, seemed almost defiant, stretching and distorting in ways he couldn't comprehend. He watched in growing fascination and quiet dread as his shadow delayed his movements, each action like a grotesque parody of his own. Across town, Rosa stood transfixed by the small mirror hanging in her room. She tilted her head, expecting her shadow to mirror her, but it moved with a chilling lethargy. Its movements were slow and deliberate, akin to underwater ballet. Her heart pounded as she took in the bizarre spectacle, her shadow twisting, spiraling, and bending with an eerie independence. Hidden away in his secret nook in the local library, Tommy observed his shadow closely. As he leafed through an old tome about local folklore, his shadow seemed to read along with him, its hand motions lagging behind his, tracing words he had read seconds earlier. The chill that ran down his spine was not solely from the library's cool, musty air. Meanwhile, Lily, the little artist of the group, sat cross-legged on the floor of her room, her crayons scattered around her. She looked at the sun-drenched wall in front of her, her shadow a distorted dark patch on the white canvas. With a blue crayon clasped tightly in her hand, she drew a curve on the paper. To her wide-eyed amazement, her shadow replicated the motion seconds later, as though time worked differently within its realm. The children, each consumed by their strange experiences, were trapped in a shared unease. The realization hit them like a punch to the gut. Their shadows were no longer mere reflections. They had morphed into entities with minds of their own, independent and menacing. They echoed the children's movements but with an unsettling delay, an uncanny dance set to its own rhythm. Their once innocent game in the twilight had unveiled a darker mystery, one they could neither comprehend nor ignore. As the day transitioned into evening, and the night's ominous cloak loomed, Daniel, Rosa, Tommy, and Lily found themselves standing on the precipice of an enigma far greater than their young minds could fathom. The tombstones of the cemetery seemed to hold more than just remnants of the past. They harbored a shadowy secret that was slowly starting to seep into the world of the living. As the sun lowered itself once again beneath the horizon, painting the sky in myriad shades of crimson and gold, an uneasiness lingered in the air. The children, once excited by the onset of twilight, now felt a knot of apprehension twist their insides. The cemetery, with its stoic gravestones and age-old trees, seemed to call them back into its moonlit arms, but this time the call felt ominous. Daniel, sitting on the porch of his home, gathered his courage and broke the silence. 
He picked up the old rotary phone and dialed Rosa's number, his fingers shaking slightly. The usually comforting whir of the dial was now a harsh reminder of the abnormality they faced. Rosa picked up the phone, her voice soft, mirroring the anxiety Daniel felt. My shadow. It's moving on its own, Dan. It's not just copying me anymore, she confessed, her fear evident. Tommy and Lily, on their respective lines, acknowledged experiencing the same unnerving events. Their conversation echoed through each household, their shared fear crystallizing into a chilling reality. Their playful twilight game had spiraled into an unanticipated darkness, their shadows now entities with unsettling minds of their own. The children met at their usual spot, the ancient oak tree that stood at the cemetery's entrance. Under the moonlit sky, the familiar became alien, and their playground seemed to be brimming with eerie anticipation. The twisting shadows felt more pronounced, their forms more daunting. They noticed their shifting outlines, each shadow seeming to strain against some invisible tether. The friends stood together, their fear unspoken yet shared. Daniel, usually their leader, felt an odd sense of powerlessness. The familiar landscape of tombstones, trees, and the looming crypts now carried an undercurrent of danger, the very air around them humming with a silent, chilling lullaby. It was as though the shadows were more alive than ever, oscillating between their world and some other, the boundary growing thin with every passing minute. As they ventured into another round of their game, driven by a mix of fear, and an insatiable need for answers, they could feel unseen forces watching them. Their laughter no longer echoed through the cemetery. Instead, a hushed silence followed their steps. Their shadows, more than mere dark reflections, were now a menacing presence, distorting and twisting, waiting for an opportune moment. In the heart of Ebbing Hollow, under the watchful gaze of the moon and amidst the silent tombstones, the children braced themselves. The line between their world and that of the shadows had started to blur. As the unseen forces slowly bridged the gap, they stood at the precipice of a reality they could scarcely comprehend. The age-old game of hide-and-seek had taken on a sinister edge, its outcome tied to the very balance of their reality. As the first rays of dawn spread their warm fingers across the horizon, pushing away the unsettling events of the night, Daniel found himself walking towards the town library. Nestled between quaint cobblestone streets, the library was a relic of the past, its time-worn books holding secrets of Ebbing Hollow's history. Upon entering, the familiar scent of aged paper and worn leather hit him. He made his way through the dimly lit corridors, pulling out dusty, forgotten books from the section marked local history. His fingertips danced over faded pages, deciphering tales of pioneers, heroes, lost loves, and forgotten curses. Hours passed like minutes as he dived into the chronicles of Ebbing Hollow, his eyes scanning over lines imbued with the essence of bygone eras. One story in particular gripped him, a legend about the cemetery and its tie to a realm of shadows, often referred to as the Twilight Zone, a mystical dimension thought to exist parallel to our own. Meanwhile, Rosa found herself in the attic of her home, rummaging through old family memorabilia. Old pictures, handwritten letters, and antiques passed down through generations lay scattered. She stumbled upon a diary, its leather cover worn out, the pages yellowed with time. It belonged to her great-great-grandmother, a woman who was rumored to have had a peculiar relationship with the cemetery. The diary held whispers of shadowy figures and odd occurrences tied to the cemetery, with mention of twilight beings. Across the town, Tommy and Lily, too, stumbled upon similar lore. Tommy discovered a forgotten storybook in the library filled with tales of shadowy creatures who dwelt in the boundary between day and night. Lily overheard her grandmother muttering about an old legend regarding the cemetery's connection to a shadow world during her twilight sleep. The children found themselves spiraling deeper into a rabbit hole, their fear tinged with a strange excitement. Their personal investigations revealed a recurring theme, a hidden layer of reality, a world of shadows interlaced with their own. The cemetery, it seemed, wasn't merely a resting place for the departed. It was a doorway, a threshold between their world and an ancient realm that existed in the penumbra of light and darkness. As twilight approached again, the children, equipped with their new knowledge, felt a cold shiver run down their spines. They were on the precipice of an enigma that dated back centuries, a secret that was deeply woven into the fabric of Ebbing Hollow. The game they had once played with innocent delight had inadvertently invoked forces unseen and tales untold. The night was descending, and the twilight beings awaited their turn to play. 
As another twilight hour descended upon Ebbing Hollow, the children gathered once more beneath the ancient oak tree at the cemetery's entrance. The air was heavy with suspense and a growing sense of fear. Their usual playful banter was replaced by a nervous hush. Daniel held the ancient library book under his arm, its pages brimming with forgotten legends and chilling tales. Rosa clutched her great-great-grandmother's diary, its secrets whispering through her fingertips. Tommy and Lily carried with them stories and anecdotes of the cemetery's eerie connection to a shadowy realm, passed down through generations. They stood there, four friends bound together by a chilling mystery, their lives intertwined with a world they were only just beginning to understand. Their shadows, once mundane facets of their existence, were now enigmatic entities pulsating with a chilling life of their own. As the children began their game, the atmosphere became dense with anticipation. The wind picked up, rustling the leaves and causing eerie whispers to rise from the depths of the cemetery. Daniel could hear his name in the wind's low moan, the syllables chillingly elongated. Rosa's shadow stretched and shrank erratically, seemingly muttering inaudible secrets. In the uncanny silence, they heard soft murmurs, like ancient tales being recited in hushed tones. Their shadows were no longer just formless dark patches. They were mediums, resonating with the echoes of the past, caught in the limbo between their world and the enigmatic twilight realm. Tommy, overcome by a sudden courage, leaned closer to his shadow, his ear straining to catch the indistinct whispers. The cold words that brushed past his ear sent a shudder through him. Unfinished. Return. Twilight, he could make out, the disjointed phrases carrying an undertone of profound sorrow. Meanwhile, little Lily, her eyes wide with fear and fascination, crouched next to her quivering shadow. She held her breath, her small heart pounding as she heard the soft whispers. Peace. Remember. Freedom, her shadow murmured, its voice akin to the rustling of dry leaves, yet tinged with a melancholic yearning. The cemetery seemed to resonate with the whispers of their shadows, the stone-cold grave markers echoing the silent pleas of the twilight beings. The children were no longer just players in a game. They were chosen, their fate intertwined with that of the twilight realm and its shadowy inhabitants. Their game of hide and seek had transformed into a haunting symphony of silent cries for help whispers of unfinished tales, and pleas for peace. The children, standing in the heart of the cemetery, felt the chilling grip of realization. They were about to delve deeper into an ancient secret that had chosen them as its carriers. As the whispers rose, the line between their world and that of the shadows grew perilously thin. The evening air was laden with an inexplicable tension, a sense of dread snaking its way into the hearts of the children. They had begun their game with childish innocence, and now they found themselves entangled in a centuries-old saga that bled from the graves into their reality. As the children navigated the labyrinth of tombstones, the whispers from their shadows grew louder, more distinct. They painted stories of lives once lived, of sorrow that time had failed to heal. The spectral moon hung low, its melancholic light seeping into every nook of the cemetery, casting an otherworldly glow on the scene that unfolded beneath. The game took a harrowing turn when Lily, the youngest among them, got separated from the group. In the blink of an eye, her shadow sprang to life, its form stretching and morphing into an ominous silhouette. A silent scream echoed through the air as Lily was pulled towards the iron gate she had once used as a hiding spot. With wide-eyed horror, Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy watched their friend get dragged into a seemingly endless abyss of shadow. The shadows, once their innocent followers, had turned into relentless captors. Their game had become a chilling battle for survival, their once familiar playground now a treacherous trap. Daniel, his mind racing, gathered Rosa and Tommy. Their faces mirrored the terror and desperation he felt. The gravestones stood silent, their shadows morphing and twisting in the moonlight, spectators to the chilling drama. Summoning all their courage, the trio made a pact. They would venture into the shadow realm, into the heart of the twilight zone, to rescue Lily and break free from the iron grip of the shadows. This was no longer just a game. It was a desperate fight against unseen forces that threatened to shroud their lives in eternal darkness. Under the ghostly moonlight and amidst the silent tombstones, Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy steeled themselves. As the spectral echo of Lily's terrified cries rang in their ears, they prepared to confront the chilling darkness. The cemetery, now a doorway to the Shadow Realm, awaited their next move, the Twilight beings ready to continue their macabre game. 
Dusk gave way to the heartless night sky, and the cemetery was swallowed by an ominous darkness. The ghostly glow of the moon was the only source of light as Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy found themselves standing at the precipice of a realm unseen. Summoning their collective courage, the three friends stepped into the abyss that had swallowed Lily. An intense cold swept over them, making their skin tingle with an odd sensation. It was as though they were stepping through a veil, entering a world that shouldn't exist. The shadow realm unfolded around them like a nightmare given form. It was a mirror of their world, but void of color or life. Everything was a varying shade of gray. The tombstones stood eerily familiar, yet different, bathed in an ethereal, lifeless light. Their shadows danced upon them in grotesque forms, teasing and mocking. The air was thick with an unnameable dread, an all-consuming silence that swallowed even the echo of their heartbeats. It was a silent world, a realm where every whisper seemed like a shout, every footstep a thunderous quake. In the distance, they spotted Lily. Her form was translucent, wavering like a mirage, her face etched with terror and confusion. Her shadow loomed over her, stretching into a towering figure, its form ever-changing. Gathering themselves, they treaded across the landscape of monochrome graves, their footsteps echoing eerily. Every tombstone they passed seemed to whisper tales of its own, the same tales their shadows had echoed, now amplified in the heart of the twilight realm. Amidst the tombstones and beneath the deathly pale moon, they navigated the chilling silence, the heavy dread, the anticipation of an unseen threat. Their mission was clear, to confront the twilight beings, rescue Lily, and find a way back home. But they were intruders in a realm they barely understood, children thrust into an age-old enigma. As Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy stood against the vast, silent expanse of the Shadow Realm, their resolve was tested. They were no longer simply players in a game. They had become unlikely heroes, their fates intertwined with a world that existed in the shadow of their own. They braced themselves for a confrontation that could decide their futures, and the fate of the twilight beings trapped in the eternal dusk. In the chilling heart of the shadow realm, Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy moved closer to the looming figure that held Lily captive. Each step they took on the monochromatic soil echoed through the oppressive silence. The shadowy twilight beings watched from a distance, their forms a wavy distortion in the lifeless light. As they approached the towering shadow that held Lily, they felt an energy emanating from it, a mix of sorrow, anger, and a deep-seated yearning. It wasn't just a grotesque reflection, it was an entity tethered to the twilight, trapped in a realm void of life's vibrancy. Daniel took a step forward, his voice ringing out in the silent world. We mean no harm, he began, his words heavy with fear and determination. We didn't know of your existence, of your pain. But we are here now, and we want to help. The shadow, seemingly taken aback, flickered, its form rippling like disturbed water. A low, somber voice echoed around him. We yearn for closure, it rasped, the voice a chilling melody of multiple whispers. For the world to remember us, to tell our tales, to acknowledge our existence. The children listened, their hearts pounding in their chests. Their childhood games had led them into a realm of forgotten souls trapped in perpetual twilight, their stories lost in time. They found themselves striking a bizarre deal, a treaty with the shadows. They promised to tell the tales of the twilight beings, to honor their memory, to bring closure to their eternal yearning. In exchange, they asked for their freedom and Lily's safe return. Their agreement hung in the air, a promise echoing through the shadow realm. The twilight beings, their forms less menacing now, seemed to retreat, their whispers sounding almost relieved. In this realm of forgotten souls, Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy had become their voices, the bridge between two worlds that should never have intertwined. Amid the shadowy tombstones, under the gaze of the lifeless moon, they prepared to carry out their promise, the fulfillment of which was tied to their fate and that of an entire realm lost in twilight. With the pact made in their hearts heavy with responsibility, Daniel, Rosa, and Tommy moved towards Lily, her small form wavering in the eerie light of the shadow realm. The shadow holding her captive seemed to loosen its grip, a sign of its agreement to the terms of their unexpected treaty. As they reached out to Lily, a ripple moved through the realm. The gray world shimmered around them, the tombstones shifting, the shadows retreating, creating a path leading back to their world. They took one last glance at the twilight realm before stepping through the threshold, their return marked by the cold wind of a real world dawn. Safe within the confines of their world, they clung to Lily, relief washing over them. 
As they looked back at the cemetery, the grave markers stood silent as ever, their eerie aura replaced by the soft light of dawn. Their shadows lay docile at their feet, stretching with the rising sun, obedient once more. In the days that followed, the children set out to fulfill their promise. They combed through dusty archives, listened to half-remembered stories from the town's elderly, pieced together the forgotten lives that were tied to the cemetery. They shared the tales of the twilight beings with Ebbing Hollow, their stories adding a new layer to the town's history. They spoke of lost loves, fallen heroes, unfulfilled dreams, and forgotten promises, each tale resounding with a unique echo of the past. The town listened, the memories of the departed seeping back into the consciousness of the living. The cemetery, once a place of fear and games, became a hallowed ground of respect and remembrance. As the children grew, their games gave way to responsibilities, their fears to understanding. But they carried their experiences into their adulthood, a shared secret that bound them together. The cemetery's tales lived on, passed down through generations, the shadows of the twilight beings finally finding peace and remembrance. With every setting sun, the twilight hour took on a new meaning. It was a time for remembering, for whispering the tales of those lost in time, a bridge between the world of the living and the echoes of the past. Ebbing Hollow, with its ancient cemetery, lived on, its history now enriched with tales from the twilight. In the end, the children's morbid game had not only unveiled an age-old enigma but also taught them a profound truth, that even in the darkest shadows, there lies a story waiting to be told, a history waiting to be remembered, and in their remembrance, they found their freedom. Their tale was a testament to the power of memory, to the unbreakable bond between the past and the present, and to the eternal dance between light and shadow. And so, dear listeners, we draw the veil back, emerging from the shadow-laden realm of Ebbing Hollow. What began as a child's game descended into a chilling dance with twilight beings, weaving a tale that will linger long after our episode fades away. Remember, the stories we shared tonight are echoes of the forgotten whispers on the wind that will float through your dreams. As we part, we leave you with this. Every shadow holds a tale, every twilight is a gateway, and every whisper of the past has a truth to reveal. Tune in next time as we unlock another vault from our scary stories. Until then, listen to the whispers of the night, for who knows, you may uncover a tale of your own. This is our scary stories signing off for tonight.